Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and today I want to talk about the future of Doctor Who, both the future oncoming in this week's episode, The Angels Take Manhattan, and beyond, because, you know, I've really been thinking about the fact that this is the end of the era of the Pawns. You know, Amy and Rory are going to be leaving, and I'm somebody who is, you know, I've become used to the idea that companions just don't last. They last for a while, and they leave. You know, I was heartbroken when I first had the impact of Rose leaving in the show, and... I knew it was coming, and it still made me shed a tear. And so I've seen a lot of the classic series. I've seen a lot of the companions who were once with the Doctor. I've seen some of the, you know, special stories where they cropped up again, the Five Doctors and stuff like that. Uh, school reunion with the great Sarah Jane Smith showing up again in Doctor Who. And uh, so, you know, I'm kind of used to it. I... When it comes to Amy and Rory, you know, Karen and Arthur, they have been fantastic in the show, and they have grown on me, even though there have been elements of their story that just kind of, you know, left a little to be desired and kind of got old really quickly, but I am going to miss them. I am going to, you know, wish them well on their journeys beyond Doctor Who, whatever they want to do with their careers, because they really did leave a lasting impression in the show. And the same goes for many of the Doctors, you know, I mean, we're never going to have one Doctor forever. So, um, you know, when it comes to River Song, now I've, I've heard a lot recently about the character potentially you know, going bye-bye for good very soon uh, into next year. And I don't know if that's just speculation or not, but frankly, there's going to be a time when that happens. And, you know, there are a lot of fans out there who are going to be very upset and heartbroken. There are going to be fans out there who are relieved. And I just think, you know, Doctor Who is a show that is about momentum. It's always changing. It's always evolving. And that's one of the magic things about it. It's never going to be exactly the same for everybody of every era. And uh, I have to wonder, as we approach the 50th anniversary, what we're going to see. I'm hoping desperately that we're going to see homages to the past. But there is some, you know, thing that I respect with Stephen Moffat and what he said about wanting to make a foundation for the future. I really hope we get a clever mixture of both in the 50th anniversary. And I'd love to know from you guys, I've also heard concerns from somebody um, about, you know, what if Doctor Who ever switched over to an American broadcasting company uh, or production company? And that's one of the things where I feel like I'd rather not see that. It's a British institution, and that's kind of what the charm to do with it is all about. And I don't think I'd like it to be moved over to America in any way. Um, you know, maybe American production companies could help funding-wise, but um, I'd like... You know, I'd like it to stay right where it is, right where it's always been. And uh, so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. You know, what are you thinking about Doctor Who for the future? What would you like to see? What do you hope happens? What do you hope doesn't happen? And, uh, you know, do you think Doctor Who's future is secure? And will we continue to be entertained no matter what changes there are? So leave that in the comments below, and I'll catch you later. Peace.